gauntlet on this uh, stream right now. And I think Sugaku is spelled like this. Sugaku is a Yoshi main. She's been in the scene for a long time uh, and is one of the top seeds in this pool, so this should be a pretty good match between these two. And that down tilt, such a good tool for Yoshi in this matchup. You find those down tilts early on and it just pushes Fox so far away from the stage. For those of you who don't know, Yoshi's down tilt has fixed knockback. It's very strange, it just launches you incredibly far at zero. You see there again. Nice touch chase from Tsugaru. But Spark, good laser game. Uh, Yoshi is a big target, so if you can get those short hop double lasers, it can make it pretty tough for Yoshi to get in. <laughs> I like the forward tilt to extend it there. Maybe not the right idea on the edge guard, though. Spark has been missing a lot of techs uh, so far this match. Quarter up smash is going to do it. Yoshi up smash, one of the strongest kill moves in the game. It, uh, it hits sideways and it just blasts you off the screen. Oh, backer up smash. Oh, a great down tilt from Tsugaku. She's not able to close up the edge guard, though. Really just needed to hold ledge after that down tilt. Unfortunately, did not capitalize on the situation. Spark was able to make it back onto the stage, hit the jab, up smash, and reset the stock count. 3-3 three to three now. What could have been a very big lead for Tsugaku is turning into quite an even match. Again, hitting those down tilts and the egg snipe. There is the forward smash. That's what she was looking for last time. It's a little bit more than you really need to go for, but if you can hit it, you take the stock one way or another. Oh, and that's a huge up tilt. Down air tech chase, going for the up smash. A little bit of a dangerous double jump from Shigaku. She's just playing kind of across the stage. Spark finding the drill, making his way in. Using the down air to pressure Yoshi is such a smart idea because as you see, if you use something like an up tilt, Yoshi can just armor through that with the double jump cancels. Uh, but it looks like Spark has got a solid idea of just down airing towards Yoshi, keeping the pressure on. And it can be really tough for Yoshi to get out of that situation. But Tsukaaku catching the ledge jump from Fox with that up smash call out. At that percent, you get that trade and it's just a stock for you. It's so nice if you can hit that read. Spark finding the kill off of the top. Still a whole stock down though. Tsukaaku, you see her still just fishing for these down tones to launch Fox off of the stage. Such a good setup move if you can uh, if you can find them in neutral like that. It's honestly like it's not a move that you typically see Yoshi is playing around neutral looking for a down tilt, but it's been working really well uh, for Sugaaku so far in this game, just stopping those grounded approaches, stuffing Fox out. Spark getting a good sequence going, 87% on Yoshi. You gotta be careful here. You're off the stage though. He's back in with a downer. Accidentally crossing Sugaku up, and so he wasn't able to get the turnaround jab that he needed there to finish that sequence out. Goes for it that time, he gets a forward tilt, and missing the jab up smash, Sugaku gets a back air, and Yoshi is in a great position here. Fox is so far off the stage, she expected a fast fall from Fox, so time that forward smash early in order to contest the fast fall recovery, and Spark smartly just did a slow fall to the ledge. Still holding onto this stock. That back air is a huge move, though. It's so strong. And he actually got the double jump caught there. So Sugaku takes game one with a two stop. Definitely a unique approach to this matchup that I haven't really seen before. Uh, playing such a down tilt heavy neutral at zero. And it's paying off so well. Setting up like so many of these edge guards for her. Oh, and just double jumps through the laser pressure. Spark just holding the shield that's so dangerous against Yoshi and accidentally sliding off and dying at zero. That is an unfortunate error for Spark, losing a whole stock off of that. But this is what you want to do against Yoshi, these down airs. Just keeping them locked in place. If your opponent doesn't have strong DI, it's so effective. There's no way you can like jump out of that. But Yoshi's uh, out of shield options are pretty slow. Going into shield is great for Yoshi because he has parry and can just block stuff like that. But once you're committed to shielding, all you can really do is roll away from the downers, and Fox is such a fast character, a lot of time you can just chase that down. Spark taking that whole stock, almost unanswered, only 6%. What a great turnaround after that SD, great composure. 
jumping over Sugaku's down tilt attempts. She's still trying to fish for those. Getting Fox off the stage early, but Spark is just short hop down ring over top of it now. No longer falling for that. I love these up tilt down air combos. It's so old school. Uh, and it, like the reason it's so old school is because people didn't DI back in the day. And Sugaku is not DIing too much here. Not enough anyway to stop the down air from working. Spark is definitely coming alive in this game here. Remember uh, that Spark SD'd on his first stock at 0%. And just so far has been winning these interactions big time. Just waits out the down down smash on shield. So Tech Chase down tilt, but a little bit late. Yoshi gets the buffered parry on that. Spark is just keeping the pressure on so much here though. Suga Aki really hasn't been able to answer back. She's kind of just getting suffocated. And even as soon as Fox isn't on top of you anymore, he's on the other side of the stage shooting these lasers, making it so difficult. She manages to take that stock. It's a big lead for, for uh, Fox, so when you see Spark so patient on the ground right now, just wants to find that jab up smash. Oh, a little bit risky going for the up air there. And just trying to get this jab up smash, and it's not working. Down smash covering multiple options for Sugahaku there. Definitely uh, the tech in was good for Spark though. It just reset kind of the stage position. Huge up smash call out though. And then, oh, I thought that was going to be another up smash, but Sugahaku opted for the down smash there, which made things a little tougher than they needed to be and accidentally sent Fox the wrong way. So both players pretty even. Spark not able to connect the jab up smash though. It can be pretty tough, especially when the nerves start to set in in this like pressure situation in a tournament match. Uh, it's a tight window when Jab starts knocking down. Oh, and Spark a little bit too low on the recovery angle. All of a sudden this match is evened up. Sugaku only needs to take one more stock to close the set out. But is Spark even going to let it happen? He's playing the Yoshi matchup so well right now with these up tilt down airs. Just the 2007 combo coming out time and time again. All this pressure on the Yoshi and Sugaku accidentally double jumping off the stage, SDing and Spark managing to even the stock count up one to one has really started playing a lot faster when he gets into Sugaku's face. Like uh, just so much more pressure and like down airs and it's just helping so much. Uh, it can be really tough for Yoshi to deal with that. I think up smashing or up tilting out can kind of be a really helpful a lot of the time. If you do manage to find a gap in the Fox pressure, you can set up these devastating punishes. It's kind of Yoshi's trademark in this matchup. But Shiga Aku has not been able to do that yet. And so far in this game, Spark is just keeping her out. 97% already. And you know what, this percent, Spark is just going to start looking for that jab up smash. Suga Aku kind of taking advantage of that. They're just getting in his face, running in with these dash attacks. The tech chase dash attack into the down smash, calling out the miss tech. She goes for the egg snipe again. Uh, I don't know if the egg snipe is the best option against Fox, just because it's really easy for him to ram through that egg with the up B and kind of just invalidate it. Uh, it's a lot better to use the eggs against a character like Falcon, because he doesn't even have a hitbox that can... Uh, contest the egg. That time, instead of throwing the egg, she goes over a forward call out and just comes up a little bit short. This tiny miss spacing can make a key difference in the game, and Spark is the first one to take a stock in this game three. They need to swap their up tilt and down tilt usage. Yeah, pretty much. And here at 100% for Yoshi, uh, the down tilt just doesn't have the same value that it does at zero. That being said, though, Calling out the run off the platform, Suga Aku taking her first stock of the match. Evening it up 3-3. Three, three three. Was not able to find a follow-up off of that downer though. And Spark just throws Yoshi off the stage, gets a little bit more damage. Oh, the egg sim towards her and she was not expecting that. Down tilt again from Suga Aku. Uh, I feel like she's not getting enough value off of these eggs. And it might be better to just go out there and like physically contest Fox's recovery with like a Yoshi back air or even like a, a long like jump out in air. I do like the idea of uh, trying to position the egg like outside of Fox's range and hit him out of that up B start, but it's just such a precise thing to go for. Oh, she's trying to touch this with a down air, doesn't get it. Spark retreating, gets a tech chase up smash, calling out that tech in place. Yoshi is so heavy though, manages to survive. Oh, and Suga Aku got caught without a jump there. Spark evening the stock count up 2-2. Two to two. 
the set is going right down to the wire, I think. Big up tilt down air from Suga Aku. She accidentally did a full hop uh, there on that down air, uh, up air down air, which could have been a lot more if she did a short hop down air. Keep it closer to the floor and let you follow up with another up tilt afterwards. Spark getting a huge punish going, but Yoshi armors through it and just calls him out. He has no jump after that up smash. He was double jumping back onto the stage with a forder when she went for that. Those up smash callouts are so valuable for Yoshi. It's such a big move. And he misses the jab up smash again. Manages to find the leftovers though. Coming down with a forder and catching the running up smash afterwards. And yeah, we got a last stock game three situation here. Spark versus Sugaaku. Who can clutch this out? Spark being very patient. Sugaaku just crouching under the lasers, finds the down tilt again, going for a huge call out, catching the forward smash and the dash attack. She doesn't go for the forwarder afterwards. Spark is getting a second lease on life here. That was definitely it, but the up smash call out, that's gonna do it. Sugaaku takes the set two to one. Wow. That was so close. Great adjustment from Sugaaku there in game three. Uh, the, yeah, the down tilt game plan was really interesting. Not something I, I see Yoshi's going for. Uh, unfortunately, Spark was just not able to connect a few of those jab up smashes. Those little flubs just, they pile up. And the up smash double jump callouts from, from Yoshi were enough to take the set. Uh, it almost could have turned around there after that uh, kind of cautious edge guarding from 